So Joe and Chanel have decided to go for an early morning swim all the way to that island over there. Morning everyone, welcome to the last day in the Maldives. We've had breakfast. It was quite a late night last night, so we've got a few casualties this morning. So just myself, Joe, Kai and Chanel, and then Ella with Jess and Kerry have popped over to the island. At the moment, Chanel and Joe have decided to swim here. It's a little bit further than it was the uh, other day when they swam here, but they're not too far away now. Plan of the day is to kind of chill out here for about an hour or so, let Ella play in the sea, run around on the sand. Then I think they're gonna lift the anchor. We're gonna sail to an area so we can perhaps do a little bit of surfing. And then I think we're gonna set sail again towards Mali or Mali towards the end of the day so that we are not too far away from the airport for tomorrow morning's early departure. As you can see just there, Joe and Chanel have nearly made it in. They're probably shallow enough to stand up, or Chanel is anyway. And they swam from the boat over there. So fair play to the girls who got their morning exercise in. I decided to pass on the swim today, not because I don't want to do it, because there's a chance of surfing today according to the reports uh, and what the guys have looked into today. And last time I did the big swim in the morning and the run before I went surfing, after about 15 minutes of surfing, I was so knackered, I couldn't do any more. So I don't want to do that. I want to have a good go today and hopefully enjoy it. So fair play to the girls, they're now walking. So great start to the day for them. Uh, Kerry, I don't think she likes her hat. I don't think she does either. Water, baby. So, we've all just enjoyed a good hour on this beach. That allowed Ella to run around and go for a good swim in the Indian Ocean, Ooh, as it may be some time before she does again. We are all starting to really cook now, so we've asked for the uh, dinghy to come back and pick us up. It's on its way. We're gonna head back to the boat, chill on the deck, and hopefully they're gonna get the anchor up and start sailing. Let's roll. So we're just saying goodbye to the, for the last time to Sexy Island. So we've just enjoyed our final visit to Sexy Island. I have to say it's absolutely beautiful. The coral and snorkeling around it as well is absolutely stunning. The beach is just gorgeous white sand. It's just this random little island with a bit of greenery on it in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Just absolutely stunning. The captain is now lifting the anchor. We're about to set sail to another part of this atoll where we can hopefully do a bit of swimming, uh, some get the cameras out again, the drones and the GoPros out and have some fun in the sea. We're gonna try and get some surfing in, depending on what the swell's like. So hopefully it's good. Check out the rest of today. <laughs> so our fishermen's friends are out there. And the girls are enjoying the nice, beautiful sun and the blue ocean. <laughs> and Jess. <laughs> Boys, what are we open to catch? You want a stingray again? Takes you 20 minutes, mate. Alright, now while I'm popping that, they're just smaller. Let's go for some grouper, we can have some lunch then. All on Kai. All on Kai. So I just sent the drone up. Got some good footage of the area, but not so good footage of the surf, unfortunately. Uh, the waves aren't as big as they probably were an hour or two ago, apparently. Uh, and also, it's, it's the best part of 2,000 feet away, according to the GPS on my uh, drone, which means the camera was a little bit of lag, which meant it was really hard to kind of keep up with anyone who did stand up. And also, unless I flew it really low, which I didn't want to take the risk with, 
um, not being near it where I could see it. Um, it was really hard to identify which one was Joyce's. So there was about four people in white shirt. So we just flew the drone back. So we've ordered two jet skis for an hour uh, at one o'clock, which is about 50 minutes away. So we're quite looking forward to having some fun on those. What were saying, Joycey? You catch anything? Jet skis here, Kai's already on it. Fortunately, we thought two were turning up, but only one has. But we've got it for a couple of hours if we want it. Gonna get some drone footage. Gonna pray around on them. That should be good fun. Just had a quick go on the jet ski. Kai's been on as well. Joycey got some drone footage. The Joyces are now out there. I'm gonna get some footage of them as well shortly. I'm just looking for them now. Oh, here they come. Check it out. Give it some welly! Yes, Rach! She's now had her first experience driving a jet ski. What did you think? Scary. Scary, why was it scary? Too much. Driving on the back of it with a drive, you know. <laughs> anyway, I think the um, six of us that went on them had a great time on the jet skis, really good fun. Uh, we're pleased we had that, it kind of breaks the day up a bit. I think we're gonna chill for a bit, uh, let the sun go down, have a couple of beers. <laughs> Sailing back towards Mali, we've been chilling out for a few hours. All the guys have now had a bit of kip. They're perking back up. I have to say, we've seen the Maldives by sailing round it, and I, I've not stayed in one of those huts, but I do think it is a great way to do it. And the best bit about it all is we've been here with all our mates, all our friends. It's been brilliant. We're now in the port. We're just gonna chill. We're gonna watch that sunset go down. So, sat here right now. The trip is coming to an end. I must admit, this trip has been absolutely everything I wanted. I felt this was a bit of a once in a lifetime. I got the opportunity to spend £10,000 on a holiday. Those that follow my channel know I do a fair bit of travelling already with Joe and I felt it was a great opportunity to bring all of my friends out to the Maldives, hire a boat. We've just watched our final sunset of our trip here. So Joycey is up first for the jump, here we go. Send it! Send it Kai. Yeah, as if I'm doing that. <laughs> Whoa. 